So this is another example of a cyanotype. Both these images were made from 4 by 5 negatives. This image was made from a 4 by 5 Polaroid image, which gives you a positive image and then it gives you a negative. And one way that you can always tell a 4 by 5 Polaroid is these little kind of sprockets up here. And you see this frequently in advertising. It's a very fine art look to it. And I can always tell that was from a Polaroid. Now there are ways to actually put a template in digitally and make it look that way, but I can always kind of tell. One thing about these 4 by 5 negatives is that they're very fragile. You know, it's almost as if you look at them wrong, they're going to scratch. So whenever I'm handling them, I have my gloves on. I'm very, very slow about the way I am handling it. They're also much sharper than a 35 millimeter image. And you also obviously get a much bigger image because it's a 4 by 5 negative. Again, you always want to make sure your paper is dry. You never want to put a negative on a piece of wet paper. You'll absolutely ruin your negative.